welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. In this morning's update, we have a lot of factors to talk about here, including the fact that XRP had dropped down overnight, down to 57.2 cents approximately. We'll talk about the fake out we had yesterday on the live. And we talked about how don't get too excited here. And we showed the back test areas. And then if it fell through our technical drop zone, which unfortunately for everybody, we have not finished our technical drop yet. Bitcoin is down to 62,662. XRP is down 7.75%. And Bitcoin's first target, if you've been following the station on this drop down, we had two chances. One, our first chance to bounce out of here would be to try to bounce off 62,844 and then try to come back up and create what we speculate would be an M topping reversal if it came up. Even though we already have an M, this is one of two scenarios. If it were to bounce off of here, create a wider M, and then you have a big, big topping reversal if something like that were to happen, not coming up that high, but coming up to basically double top this from a different uh, perspective here. Um, but that, that speculation that it could bounce off of there, that's the one chance that we have to bounce. So I switched it into green just so it's easier to see. So if we bounce off, we could hit that. So basically, if we bounce off for Bitcoin here, it's our only chance. Because otherwise, we're going to fill out the technical move that's down here at 59,728. And that was already determined by the drop and hold. And that's the technical target. The only difference is if it did this, bounce out. And then came back down. I could see a possibility if we want to come down farther. If we want to make a bigger. See we come down back up. You could make a bigger topping reversal. Otherwise it's going to fall right through this. And we're going to go to 59,996. 59,968 is the technical target. And then if that is lost. Then you come down here to the broadening wedge uh, resistance as support for the first time around 56,800. So that's what we're watching for Bitcoin. We are not getting tricked by Bitcoin. Now XRP, we have some big details to talk about as well. As as XRP holders, what do we think of this? Again, last night, during this drop, 100 million XRP was dumped by whales. It's almost as we're becoming a pawn in, uh, we're the pawn in a larger chess game, huh? That's why I keep saying, don't buy XRP on the railies. You buy it during the accumulation and we do what we need to do. Because these drops right here, this is this is bend over alley. If you buy these on the pumps, like look at last night, for example. On the live, I talked about an XRP price surge. You know, I had that in my title. And I warned everybody that even if it doesn't break 67 cents and then back test and hold that 63 and a half, or first area was 63.3, at worst case scenario was 62 and a half cents. And then we knew if we lost 60.5 cents, the technical drop down can be all the way down. We haven't even hit that technical drop yet. That's the that's the thing that's very uh, interesting here. We came through, but we never came all the way down to the technical drop point. So we're trying to show some strength after the whale sale, but it could just be to get a rejection up here at like that's where's it at right now. We'll go over this more during the live. There's a or during the update. There's a lot to talk about, but like that 605 now, that's very line of resistance. 606. If that gets rejected here, this is a problem. But XRP certainly, certainly starting to move this pattern in a different direction here a little bit. Even if you just take this resistance down here, we can see we're starting something like this now. But we're gonna we're gonna continue to hold the pattern as such. And we're going to see how it plays out from here. Um, because we're very, very volatile. But I really do want to get through that reading, though, as well in this update. About the 100 million more XRP dumped by the whales. What do you think is going on with the whales? Between the whales dumping and ripple dumping during every single push-up, is there something deeper that goes on? Our XRP holder is actually a focal point to bleed dry. Is there something going on behind the scenes with a settlement that we don't know about for the end of the month or early April with how much Ripple's been selling? As we know, they sold roughly $25 million more on that 15% drop the other day on the correction. Now, today, whales have sold another $100 million XRP. 
And we're going to get into this reading at the end. And I'll try not to make this much longer than 20 minutes, I promise. There's just a lot of stuff to talk about. But again, XRP sell-off, whales dump, 100 million coins amid market correction. XRP to slip below 60 cents, which it already has. So, I mean, that's a lot of whale selling. A lot of whale selling. But we don't know where they bought, but still. So, let me get into this and timestamp it. And please make sure to hit that like button if you are watching this update so that YouTube will recommend this video. By you hitting that like button and YouTube recommending this, we end up popping up in the feeds when people are scrolling through. This morning when they wake up on YouTube, they're scrolling through their feeds and they're going to end up seeing our channel. We'll end up popping through the analytics and then we'll become more of the feed when you push through. That's how you become part of the algorithm and that can only happen if you hit that like button so YouTube recommends this video. Special shout out to the members of Tom's Army as you continue to put the effort in and help me fund this program. I can't thank you enough. A special shout out to each and every one of you. So good morning. 10.44 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, what exactly happened last night? We were doing this in real time as I was live. I put in my title about a price surge, and then I talked about, even with the price surge, how we had to hold 603. Well, we had the price surge. In my opinion, all we did was come up and made a head and shoulders pattern and confirm the right shoulder, if this plays out truthfully, because look at this, left shoulder around to a head, back up to a right shoulder, this is exactly what we talked about if we were bearish, resistance, back up to 75, back down, resistance again at the neckline, which is right at that 67 cents, we knew once that happened yesterday, we had two chances to hold, 63.3 failed, and then down to 603 failed. So we did not do what we needed to do last night at all. At all. The only thing we did was we managed to hold the support area around 58.5 cents, surprisingly. But that very well could have been maintained because we had that artificial move up right before the drop. We do have a death cross here in the three hour confirmed. We're working on it in the four hourly right now. And we're below the 200 day. So if we think the pain's just going to stop here, we might have another thing coming. I don't think we've hit our technical move yet. So I can't just say, oh, this pattern's invalidated and it's not going to come all the way down here because uh, that's not the case. The case is right now XRP's technical target on a drop is still around 53.4 cents, even where it fell out right here. So we're going to see how this plays out. I'm a little... Uh, I'm happy that things are playing out the way that we've been saying. I'm just not happy in the fact that every time we pump up, I'm not, I don't worry about the whales. The whales are one thing when they sell because they can buy in at 10 cents. They might be selling it from eight cents. We don't know from 25, 30 at the beginning. And they could be selling it out at one X though from that a drop back last summer or earlier in the year, late spring or uh, late fall um, or early spring actually last year. But the point is, is it's the whales are one thing, but Ripple we have to worry about every single month at the end of the month. We usually have to worry about 1 billion escrow dump every single month, obviously, if you know anything about Ripple. Well, they've been dumping during this entire price rise. So that's why it comes to speculation. Is there a settlement that is being talked about and we just don't know? Or is there something larger that meets the eye here? Is there something more that meets the eye? So we're not going to speculate, but that's some things you need to think about this morning. And if you're like, man, I need to get in front of this, put some money on an exchange, because I'm telling you, get your money in order for when we have the drops so that you can buy these volatile swings and forget about leverage. Because no matter if you're going long or short, I believe leverage is a scam. I believe that they use it to liquidate the newer users and older users. Um... But unless you really know what you're doing, I highly encourage you to sit and spot leverage trading again today, even on a 5X trade, when it went up to 66 cents, if you would have took even out a 5X trade around there or 65, you got liquidated. And that's very low leverage. If you would have took 2X leverage, even on this drop from the top yesterday, depending on where you bought this, you could be down as much as 25% on 2X right now. So... 
make sure you build your spot position and you have money available and you have an exchange that's available during the high times of volatility. Uphold was all over the place yesterday. I could not get on it at 2 a.m. Could not get on it. So even if I wanted to make a striker move, I couldn't have got on it. I was trying to get on it because AMP was down at 009, right at my technical target. Remember I said I'd buy it at 008 and some change? It came down here. I went on to log on because I was up very late last night because of my son. And I tried to get on here at like four in the, what was it? Three in the morning, sometime around there, 3.30. And it was down. So I could not add to my AMP bag. And that's where my AMP money was. Just I should have looked at it elsewhere, but it frustrated me when it was down. But I was going to put back into that where I said at 8889. Now, looking back on it, I probably should have just did it on BitUnix, but I had the money sitting there on Uphold because I had bought the $500 worth at 00497 at almost a half a penny. And then I sold out at 1.7 cents. So I was waiting for that 50% correction, 55% correction. Then I was going to take a ride back up. Well, Uphold completely ruined that momentum. So if you're looking for an exchange that doesn't go down on you like Uphold does every single time during high times of volatility, just like Kraken and Coinbase, Coinbase and Binance, you know, and the Slews balls, Bit, uh, Bitfinex, and all those ones that always go down. Look in the video description below and or pinned comments. There's BitUnix. It's changed my life. I have over $2,000 on there right now for moments of opportunity, which I squandered yesterday because I had my focus on Uphold because I had it laser sight. I had it so lasered on AMP. And I had the money that was in there. And I was going to throw 100,000 tokens on it again, and that didn't happen. That would have been like about 900 bucks. So I would have still had $800 of profit from when I sold out. So I was going to put 50% back to work. Well, it didn't work out. So if you're sick of the exchanges going down in high times of volatility, look in the video description below under pinned comments. But Unix, lowest spot fees for leverage and spot traders in the USA. No VPN required. And you don't even need to do a KYC as they're starting a revolution of no KYCs unless you deposit or withdraw from a bank account. If you do it to and from another exchange on the deposit and withdrawal, you do not need to do a KYC. So look at that, take advantage of that. And if it's not available, do you look at Maxi so that you can uh, at least be able to trade in futures spot and be there during high times of volatility. So besides that, XRP, as we see, the most important thing is, is now that we drop down this resistance point here, that once again confirmed, this is this is telegraphing another move. This is a head and shoulders pattern. This is telling us that our floor is not until like 50 cents at worst. That's the handle formation on the cup. So it's telling us that we have about a drop to about 50 cents if this is worst case scenario here, folks. This is worst case scenario will drop down to 50 cents. If it loses 50 cents, that is a huge, huge red flag because that is the handle formation. And once you come below it, it can absolutely pour out the cup. And the only way that this turns bearish as we came around is if this cup pours out. For the cup to pour out, you have to break this low support. Right now, it's just, ready? Resistance support, resistance support, resistance. Even came up, remember the overextended area, which is actually the real area. But when you're inside this box, it can drop down to that 50 cents that's why we have it separated you have to break out of this downtrending green line because that's actually the outlier for the top resistance for this handle but the inside is the consolidatory zone this is when you try to break out when you're within here you're trying to consolidate we're back in the consolidatory zone to me this has every making to continue to dump how do we invalidate the dump <laughs> because i would love to see it invalidated the only good thing about xrp is because of that artificial move up, which when we were watching in real time yesterday, I said, don't get too excited, folks. And then I was getting criticized by uh, somebody in the audience as well yesterday about that fact that XRP didn't drop. And I said, don't be so quick to come to judgment, my friend. I never said it was going to go all the way down, but that's not invalidated yet. Everybody just thought that move was invalidated. It's not. Once we got rejected, I showed the exact steps by step by step. We're going to come up to the rising channel resistance again to retest. Then we're going to back test 63.3 cents failed. Then we're going to back test 62.5 failed. Then we're going to back test 60.3 failed. Now we're trying to hit resistance at 60.3 if we come up there. If it's successful, it's going to signal that entire drop. This has not been invalidated now for the first time we're on the bottom side of this. Looking bad. So 
We need to pay attention to the entirety of the technical analysis and not get caught up in a, a moment. We even said it was an opportune moment if they were going to dump on us. We were very optimistic, but at the same time, we had a feeling that this was going to happen. Why? Because XRP was the single only one running. Whenever XRP is the only single one running, this is what happens. It went up to about 66.9 cents. And within a matter of an hour during the live, we were already back down. So now we had a correction from the top of about 14.7%. So the interesting thing about what XRP is doing is it's trying to clear off some steam as Bitcoin is still working. So the differential is, had we have had a 14% drop and we didn't have that move up first, we would have come down to that 52 cent area. But because we had that artificial move up, that 14.5% drop right now only got us to around 57 cents. So to me, that was a targeted move I believe the trading bots are on last night and everybody can argue with me if they want, but I personally believe the trading bots are on. They turned off the cells just like they did with the GSR trading bots in 2016, 2017. It's the only thing that makes sense for that move yesterday. They turned off the trading bots. They wanted it to be more prevalent for a move up instead of a move down. And what happened? What happened? XRP holders got bent over the barrel once they started putting those cells on, and how many people do you think got liquidated last night who took out longs? I seen some data. I seen some data. It was not pretty. And I'm not just talking about shorts. I'm talking about shorts who had a beautiful positioning last night before they turned off the trading bots, in my opinion. And then it liquidated the, short, the shorts and then the longs as well on the way back down. So they double dipped, and now with Bitcoin, we absolutely have this downtrending uh, resistance forming. It used to be a support, but if it hits this as a resistance, look out. This is our one chance for Bitcoin right now to have a volatile swing. And it would go from 62,800 approximately, and this is my estimate, back up to 73,000 and some change to double top here if in fact we're gonna, if XRP was telling us anything, is that Bitcoin, if we pull up, this could be an inverted head and shoulders pattern. If we pull up. If this fails to take this one chance right now that we have at 62,844 and we nailed that target. If it fails this one chance, Bitcoin comes down to 59,884 as the next drop. It's another 2,000 points right off the top. However, this could be the trap to shorts right now. So let's pay attention. Because right now, if it did bounce off of this, Bitcoin would be looking at a quick reversal of 16%. And that only way this would happen is if it's going to come up for more of a double top formation. As it was a very wide pattern, I speculated that that drop, it could happen just like that and come straight through. But I speculated that it might come up and try to retest. But the only way they could do that is from a drop point at 62,844. It was the only way it makes sense. Because then it would pull up more like an inverted head and shoulders type pattern. And then if you pulled up that right arm, you could start to see some kind of development. But this is a very slim chance for this to happen. For it to start looking like that. So you go down, head, inverted right shoulder, or a little bit of inversion. And then you come up. Otherwise, it just falls right through. And then it could possibly come to that rising channel resistance as support for the first time. So let's watch this very closely this morning. We've got a few different things that can happen. But watch and make sure if 62,800 gets rejected, we have another drop down. It's going to be a 3,000 point drop down to 59,900. It'll be about an 8,000 point drop today, total. So an XRP, it's very, that's optic filled. It's at 59 and a half cents, just like it was before the drop, except it still had a seven and a half percent drop, even though it's in the same spot. You ever hear manipulation, folks? It doesn't just happen in XRP, but it's very prevalent when you watch the chart. That move yesterday was nothing more than a manipulated tug to liquidate the shorts just before the shorts were about to get paid and then to entice people going long. I know almost a billion dollars was liquidated in leverage yesterday. So before you go leverage, make sure you know what the hell you're actually doing because there's nothing worse than trying to build a portfolio and getting it liquidated real quickly. Real quickly, the horror stories are surreal. Surreal. Especially in this market too, swing trading is a pain. 
It's where a lot of people get caught, priced out. They lose quick money. It's not a swing trading market right now. So, other than that, pay attention to XRP. We got to go through that little bit of reading here, but pay attention to XRP. If we do come up, if we get rejected here at about, right now in current times, it's about 608. If we can't get above 608 roughly, yeah, 608, and hold that as a support, this is a rejection tug. If we get rejected here, we come all the way back down as low as 50 cents, but this is technically saying the technical target from a push there is around 53 and a half cents, but we know on the handle it could come as low as 50 cents. So let's just stay very transparent here. Let's make sure we know the facts and let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We have a golden or a dot cross that could be looming in the four hourly. It's already happened in the three hourly. And we'll know if that golden or the dot cross happens if we get rejected at that aforementioned area because that's the 200 day running through. So if you do appreciate this update, make sure you hit that like button so YouTube will recommend this update. If you appreciate my work, hit that subscribe button as we're only 13 subscribers away from 50 or uh, 21,000. I would love to see, I was going to say 5,100, man, where have I been? It's way past 5,100. But if you appreciate the work I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can knock out 21,000 today. I'd be privileged if we could get there. If you appreciate my work and you want to pay that forward over and above, video description below and or pinned comments. You can join Tom's Army or you can pay it forward by sending a YouTube super chat one time per month is all I ask. And make sure you get the exchanges ready. Get on an exchange with high times of volatility where you can get some money on there and you can start sniping these. And if you are a swing trader, get off of uphold. If you're, if you're swing trading XRP, get off of uphold because on uphold, if I buy $1,000 worth and I buy out, buy out or sell out during a high time of volatility, if it's $1,000 worth, it cost me 60, 80 bucks. On the buy-in, same thing. If it's low times of volatility, it's probably gonna cost me 40 to 50 bucks on the in and out. So that's 10% right there. And it's not uncommon to see that on uphold. On big uh, Unix, for that same $1,000 purchase, it might cost me two to $4 to get in, two to $4 to get out. So would you rather pay eight bucks or a hundred bucks at worst? So that, that's where we're talking. No VPN in, required to use it because I'm not gonna feel like a criminal to use an exchange as I said before. And if you're in the USA, it's the best option for you. Never went away during the high times of volatility. They have a trading license and they never got rid of XRP during this entire lawsuit. So take advantage of an exchange that has our back. And they're available worldwide as well. So XRP sell-off, whale dumps one, and that's in the video description below and or pinned comments. XRP sell-off, whale dumps 100 million coins amid market correction. XRP to slip below 60 cents as we have now. XRP whale offloads nearly 100 million coins amid crypto market corrections. Following a massive crypto market sell-off witnessed recently, these transactions fueled additional bearish market sentiment on XRP. XRP price slips, although a reversal may be looming as we've been talking about during this live, I mean during this update. And what comes as a noteworthy twist witnessed within the cryptocurrency landscape today, March 19th, phenomenal sell-offs by an XRP whale amid the recent we witnessed crypto market corrections garnered noteworthy interest. As XRP regained a bearish momentum after showcasing a remarkable pump in the past few days, following a bearish movement illustrated by nearly all altcoins as Bitcoin slipped below the 70,000 mark amid the recently observed crypto market conditions. These sell-offs gave rise to a cyclone of speculation orbiting XRP's price action ahead, questioning the chances of a potential price drop below 60 cents, which we know has now been validated as we went down to about 57.8 cents last night. Technical target right now is around anywhere from 53 and a half from the pattern drop or down to 50 cents to the bottom of the handle support. According to the insights revealed by the blockchain taker or tracker, whale alert, 99.85 million XP has been dumped by sex since March 15th. From the time when top crypto prices dropped or dipped remarkably due to a massive crypto market sell-off, as per CoinGate Media's report, among these dumps registered a staggering 50.4 million XP was offloaded by a renowned XRP whale on March 15, shifting 22.8 million and 27.6 million coins to bits. And we're all over these shifts. Bits are respectively simultaneously at the same time. Whale continued selling significant amounts of XRP to date. 24.85 million XRP worth 15.44 million was dumped to Bitstamp on March 17th, whereas the exact address sold another 24.6 million XRP worth 14.84 million to the same sex today. This birthed a massive cyclone of speculations among crypto market traders and investors globally as 
supply gains on sexes for XRP continued to skyrocket. While the ripple back token already showcased bearish signs with a 13.16% weekly plunge. Meanwhile, with its price briefly dipping below the 60 cent mark today as of press time, investors have been on their toes as market dynamics add onto the bearish market sentiments on XRP. As of writing, the XRP price showcase, and now we're down a little bit more than this as well. We're back down to 594 area. So we're down about 13.5%. We did go down as low as 57.8 cents. Um, with the RSI hovering around 47, the token continued painting a bearish outlook today, indicating a selling sentiment prevailing within the market. This further fell in line with the uh, above mentioned sell offs, fueling additional bearishness on the token, and its price recorded a dip below 60 cents today. However, CoinGlass spotlighted data with a 4.06% 4 4 surge. And XRP's open interest accompanied by a staggering 138.59% upswing in volume within the derivatives market. This contrasted with the bearish market sentiments on Rippleback token showcased substantial new money entering the market with heightened market activity. A buying the dip sentiment might be aiding the surge in open interest while meanwhile investors continue to eye the token as a reversal trend may be looming make sure to hit that like button so that youtube will recommend this update i'm going to release this right now it's been a lofty 26 minutes if you made it until the end hashtag be better do better in the comments below don't let your emotions dictate your next decision but be very transparent with yourself with them what's to come stay blessed everybody